Hey, you're watching Sonic Eclectic Vision, and we're here with Johnny Brennan, and uh, he's a man of, what, a thousand voices? A million voice? yeah, voices? Frank, Frank Rizzo, <laughs> o open your ears, jackass. So, how'd you get involved with doing all this uh, character voices that we know and love? We got some family guy, we got Mr. Rizzo. Yeah, boys, family guy. It, it's funny how it all took off, it's just... I was doing it inside joke for my brothers and my family, and I was doing all these character voices since I'm a little kid. So one day a light bulb went off, and I just said, well, a great way to get the characters out to the people is by recording them doing interactions with, you know, newspaper, uh, you know, the bylines, things like that. And the rest is history. It took off, it hit the streets, Howard Stern got a hold of it and said it's the funniest thing he ever heard in his life. And then, you know, Seth MacFarlane, creator of the... Uh, Family Guy was a huge fan when he was only 12 years old, listening to the Jerky Boys. So it was a natural progression for my characters to kind of spill over into the uh, Family Guy series. Yeah. So how did that work? Did Seth just hit you up and said, "Hey, I, I want you a part of this"? Or yeah, actually they did. They said I actually years ago, I had I think it was 97 or 98. I actually read for Peter here, this character, the main character. Right. I actually read for Peter. So, um, but back then they were like. The Jerky Boys and, and Seth is like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, no, I don't think the Jerky Boys have anything to do with this show. And so years would go by, and eventually, not years, maybe a year or two, and then I came in as Mort Goldman here on the show. So I came in as Mort, and um, that character is, you know, we call him Sal Rosenberg's long lost cousin. <laughs> so so he, Mort Goldman's a little different. Right. When he talks, he's like, hello, yes, Peter, hi, hey, Lois, hi. And, Saul Rosenberg, the Jerky Boy, is a little bit more like, so should I bring all my shoes and my glasses? A little slower, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little more down, you know, a little, a little, quieter, a little, little quieter. A little New York. Yeah, a little quieter, but <laughs> but um, but anyway, it, it, it's it's just amazing over the years. Like Seth MacFarlane said that this comedy, the Jerky Boys, he said it's the funniest thing I ever heard in my life. It's timeless. He said it's absolutely timeless. And really, when you think about it, look at how long I've I've been at this now three decades, over three decades. Jerky Boys is huge. Yeah, yeah. Huge. And now with the internet and Google and everything, the Jerky Boys is going through the roof again. You know, all these new generations finding it, young kids. Coming up to my table today, young kids. You know, and, and it's that's really cool to see. You know, and I'm, I'm thinking that they're here for the Family Guy stuff, which some of them are, right. but then some of them go right for the Jerky Boys. It's very, <laughs> very interesting, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, so what's next for you? I'm working right now. I just uh, signed a deal with a production company on my own Jerky Boys, whether it's, it may be a cartoon or a, a, a bit of like, remember the old Tracy Ullman, The Simpsons? Yeah. Like where it's a bit of oh, shtick oh, right. and a bit of cartoon, no, you know. No, no, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Awesome. Yeah. Well, look out. Is there a website we could uh, follow you and yeah. find out the result of what's happening? Absolutely. It's www.thejerkyboys.com. TheJerkyBoys.com. A lot of people leave off the, so, yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have fun. I'll be here tomorrow, too. All right. Thank you, man.